For many people, getting scared silly by visiting a haunted house is part of their ritual leading up to Halloween. This weekend, brave thrill seekers will be able to visit what is being described as the scariest haunted house experience on Long Island. Files One's Ron Lee visited the Chamber of Horrors in Hop Hog and has a behind-the-scenes look. This is Aunt Fanny. Oh. She has something to tell you. Oh, what's up, huh? Uh -huh. What's up, Aunt Fanny? How you doing? Whoa! If you've ever been to a haunted house, you know it's often less terrifying to not go along. But when you're a plus one has the somewhat ominous name of misfortune, the theory doesn't hold true. I'm not sure if I could tell all the details, but when you go in there, it's going to be a little bit dark. And there's going to be a lot of crazy people inside, but they're all my friends. So don't worry. We don't want to spoil all of the surprises, but Miss Fortune is the hostess of Maniac Manor, part of the latest edition of Chamber of Horrors, New York. This haunted house extravaganza returns to play like a pro here along Express Drive North and features 60 to 70 percent of new material. You'll also encounter lots of returning actors who look forward to scaring people every year, even when they're off the clock. But in costume. I'll be dressed up in the blood, I'll have red contacts, and I'll walk into the store and everybody's like, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Do you get off on that? Do you enjoy that? I love it. It's great. <laughs> there was a young guy in the back of the elevator and he was talking about, you know, haunted houses don't scare me. I followed him out of the elevator and I, I got right up just about touching his ear and I just screamed as loud as I could and his knees came up to his chest and he grabbed his knees and he fell to the ground in the fetal position and started shaking and calling for his mother. It was the best scare I've ever had to date. Between now and November 2nd, there are four different shows that audiences can choose from. Two sound particularly frightening. We have what we call Kill the Lights Sundays, where you walk around with just a glow stick. Where we shut all the lights down. <laughs> You can't see anything, but we get to see you coming. So the actors are really going to have a really a blast. But perhaps even more terrifying is Dead of Night, which is for mature audiences only. It's a full contact show, and the only show in which the actors are allowed to touch you. In Hop Hop Romley, Files Swimmers.